few years in Japan. How have you not eaten sushi? I never thought I would be 19 living like across the world. God is literally going to do it for me every single time. I'm gonna just say that right now because what? Can you even hear me? Um being 19 and living in Japan. <laughs> trying to find a place to record this video and I couldn't find anywhere that was quiet and like I couldn't do it in my room because I have a roommate so um like I mean she knows that I do YouTube and everything but like I still don't want to just record while she's in there so anyways I was just walking around in this place and they have like this community center with like workspaces and stuff and it's free but this area that I'm in it's like a hundred yen just for an hour 100 yen is like less than a dollar us anyways hopefully you can hear me because it's like really quiet and i feel like everyone can hear me so basically i got stationed here because i'm in the navy and it's crazy because i've always like since i was a kid i've always wanted to move away like far away from home and home to me is georgia like I just always wanted to see the world I've always wanted to travel and stuff and I never even thought like Japan like I never thought I would be 19 living like across the world but I did want Japan like once I heard that we could get stationed over here I literally was like praying for it it was literally the best day ever when I found out so I'm happy that I'm here I was happy to find out that I was gonna be here to be away from my family obviously you know I do miss them you know but I can always visit who has the chance to be 19 in Japan it's not a regular opportunity that comes around so I am really excited to be here I'm really happy to be here the first thing I want to talk about is the smaller cultural differences um, so the first thing that I noticed like they use like their suitcases and luggages they carry it around everywhere like I guess instead of holding like a bunch of bags when you like go, gro go grocery shopping like they use their luggages and suitcases and I think that's such a smart idea or if they don't use those they have like trolley like little like you know when you're younger and you have like those rolling bags book bags instead of the ones you put on they have like those and they like roll those around and I have one too and I just think it's the smartest thing because why would I be putting all this heavy weight on me if I could just roll it around another thing is they wear a mask they wear a mask everywhere like inside outside on the trains even if they're by themselves like they could be in a secluded area like this they're still going to wear their mask okay they don't play and it's not even a rule in japan it's just like what they do i guess they don't play about that covid stuff for real when i'm outside i do wear mask. no no i'm lying <laughs> when i'm outside i don't wear a mask i'm not gonna lie to you and you can normally spot who's american because americans they don't wear masks outside when I am inside, I put on a mask because they're very, it's very enclosed spaces, you know what I mean? So, you know, COVID isn't over, so I still wear my mask inside. But outside, I'm like, mm, everyone's kind of away from each other, you know. Look, and it be hot sometimes. I'm not keeping a mask on. Um, another thing that I notice is that they are very trusting people. When you go up to a store, they have a lot of their products and merchandise outside of the store. And then you can go in, go in, of course, and they have more stuff. It's not that much, like, security surveillance. Um, and they don't, like, monitor you for real. Like, if I'm outside looking at clothes, I'm not seeing them staring at me trying to make sure, like, I'm not stealing, you know? They just kind of trust you to not steal because why would you, to be honest? Last night, I passed by this place. And the place is upstairs, but they have some of their merchandise downstairs. So they just expect you, you know, if you pick up something from outside, they trust you enough to go upstairs and pay for it. Like, you're not just going to walk by and steal. And I just think that's so crazy. Like, 
even with the fitting rooms they don't have someone monitoring people outside like you just go in the fitting rooms and they expect you to come back out and pay for the stuff that you carried into the fitting room you know what i mean well, it's a pretty quiet place if i'm being honest and when i say that i mean obviously you have people who are going to be loud regardless but like on their trains and stuff trains like it's no talking it's no talking i think i've been on the train like twice where i heard people talking they have like posters and stuff that says like please refrain from using your phone please don't talk loud like even when you're outside it's just quiet you know oh and they do not do loud phone calls in public like you don't just hear them walking around talking on the phone no they don't do that if they're on the phone they're probably standing somewhere and like quietly talking on the phone they don't just walk around being loud on the phone um another thing that is like I, i'm not really a fan of is like personal space when i came over here i had to get used to people being right next to me or people standing right behind me like or i'm standing in a line between this person and someone will walk right through and it's like a couple of inches between no they're not big on that and it's not them being rude it's literally just their culture it's not a big deal to be close to people like it is in america where if somebody's standing too close to you like you're like you need to back up or something like that you know another thing is their fashion you know of course it's different it's unique here they like don't really wear a lot of colors I tend to wear more like is it earth tones like more like you know nude brown dark blue black like that as a society they're kind of humble it's not really about like standing out all the time so their fashion uh choices kind of make sense except for when you go to like tokyo and like the harajuku areas like they dress completely different i don't know if y'all know this girl named Aaliyah's interlude on tiktok oh, love her you probably have heard of her but like they dress like her if you've ever seen her like you know the mini skirts the bright colors the platforms i love their style so much bigger cultural differences it's literally the most walkable area ever in i didn't really realize it until i went back home for christmas um a couple months ago in december and i'm like dang i can't just leave the house and walk down the street to the store like i can in japan like i leave in their stores there's food places there's 7-elevens everywhere like i can walk to where i can walk to a mall 10 minutes down the street i can walk to the gym like it's made to walk it's if anything it's not really made for cars like <laughs> i mean they have streets of course for people to drive but like not like it is in america um their transportation system you know is mainly trains and i mean like that's kind of like new york i guess i've never lived in new york but from what i see you know they take the use public transportation a lot and they bike here a lot and you know when you see somebody in america on a bike you're like Ugh. i'm not trying to say everybody think like that but most people think like that like oh they don't got a car like they're running a bike instead of here it's like you see some and they you're thinking like oh they choose to ride on a bike you know it's the normal way you see a lot of people walking or on bikes where they use the train to use the train you just have to like have a train card and it's based on like your location but it's really cheap to be honest like i can travel for an hour and it's probably like three dollars that's pretty cool i love taking their trains love 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 it because if i had a car i would probably be spending more you know like on gas and stuff safety i feel super safe living here like i can walk outside by myself at 11 p.m and personally i'm not worried about like oh is something gonna happen to me like i don't just do that on a regular but i could do that and like i am not as fearful to like ride mm, taxis and ubers and stuff because i'm just like i'm just not afraid like they're just not they don't have high criminal rates over here you don't hear a lot about people getting kidnapped and killed and constantly over here so it feels really safe to be here as a woman and as a black woman you know um another thing their atm because like when you go to their atms first of all you cannot deposit in their atms it's only for withdrawals and when you're withdrawing for like 90 percent of the atms you have to pull out um at least 10,000 yen and that's like 76 us dollars currently um i did find one atm around here that lets you take out like i think like at the least uh 2000 yen which is like less than 20 dollars in us money their food 
which uh, before I get y'all hopes up I am a very picky eater so I'm making it my mission okay I'm making it my mission this year to try more fair foods because last year I wasn't doing that also I got here in May 2022 so I haven't been here for a full year yet um but yeah so their food as far as the Japanese food that I've tried and can really remember um it's one this place is called pepper lunch it's like it's kind of like rice and beef and i know that doesn't sound really good but it is really good and they give it to you like on this hot steaming plate where you cook it kind of yourself and the plate probably stays hot for a good like two minutes very very hot i don't even know how to explain it and you cook your stuff on there you can add toppings on there like cheese and eggs and stuff and by the time it cools down like all your stuff on the plate is cooked that place is really nice um coco's this like japanese curry um that place is really good japanese curry is really good it took me a while to try it but when i did try it i love it so much um there's this place called sushi roll um it's like a chain i haven't been to the bigger one that's over here yet but i've been to the smaller one i have not eaten sushi yet i have not tried sushi in japan yet and i know you're probably like ah oh, boo boo what's wrong with you you're in japan how have you not eaten sushi also i have not tried ramen okay it's I'm, it's gonna happen this year okay every time i go to sushi roll i get their karagi i think that's how it's pronounced which is like fried chicken which japan has really good fried chicken oh my gosh and i get like their teriyaki or like chicken bowls um but i will try sushi this year it's coming it's coming probably gonna turn it into a video as well um I tried hot pot, which, you know, there's hot pot places in America. I've eaten hot pot a lot over here. Um, and if you don't know what hot pot is, it's just kind of where you cook your own. It's basically ramen. In a way, I have had ramen, I guess, but not the authentic Japanese ramen. But anyways, it's like where you have, like, the stove on your table, and they bring you a pot with, like, broth, and you cook, like, your uh, beef, strips of beef, or, like, pork. You cook your noodles and vegetables, stuff like that. I love it so much. And then I'm going to include 7-Eleven on this because 7-Eleven is like, people love 7-Eleven. I personally haven't had a lot of their food, but I have had like their kebabs and their fried chicken in 7-Eleven and it is really, really good. Their American food here that I've tried and I'm obsessed with, okay, this place called Guzman y Gomez. It is a Mexican place and it's kind of like a Chipotle. They don't have Chipotle here, which I really don't miss it because Guzman y Gomez, it's amazing, okay? I literally travel because the closest ones is like an hour away in Tokyo. I will travel just to eat there. Um, Shake Shack, okay? In Georgia, I do not think there's a Shake Shack. So I've never had it until I got here and it's really, really, really good. Um, eggs and things is this Hawaiian place there's not one in Georgia so I've never had them until I came here um, it's like a breakfast place but they have lunch and dinner too and they have pancakes um, when you order the pancakes or the waffles it comes with a lot of whipped cream like a lot of whipped cream on there and I eat all the whipped cream every single time because it's so good it's so good um, they have a place called jalapenos over here which kind of low-key is still a small business because they just opened up like probably like i don't even know if it's been a month since they've been open but they're basically a burrito place burrito tacos burrito ramen burrito mac and cheese um what else i got burrito burritos like they got everything burrito okay and me personally i'm addicted okay i just had there last night like i love burrito tacos i love mexican food in general like i can eat it back to back to back to back to back but i love me some jalapenos it's called tex-mex jalapenos they have this place called dios deli another mexican place love their burritos and their rice bowls and then they have indian curry they have indian curry dang near everywhere over here i am more of a fan of japanese curry than i am of indian curry but they both are really good you can find those dang near every corner you can also find a mcdonald's every corner and fast food in Japan I feel like fast food in any country other than America is really really good I said I'm in the Navy so I live on base and I eat a lot of the on base food but still something about eating it here is really good on base they have like you know McDonald's of course 
like Panda Express, Subway, Popeyes and stuff. Like everything is just better here. Maybe it's just because I live here, I'm biased, but I absolutely love it. Some things that I've really enjoyed being in Japan, I have loved shop. I love shopping here, but I love the thrift stores. The thrift stores here, the local thrift stores, like small business ones, probably the same as in America, but um, the area I lived in Georgia, like it wasn't really that many local ones. It was like Goodwill and stuff. So here, going to their local thrift stores, like you find some really good things. I like the local Japanese thrift stores. When you're from the mall, they have grocery stores in the mall mostly. And then of course they have grocery stores by itself, but I grocery shop inside of a mall that's close to here. Another thing I really like here is their movie theaters. I don't know why I like their movie theaters. It's just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain, okay? I love their movie theaters here. It's really nice. They will sit down until the credits are done. No matter what movie it is, they do not get up before all the credits are done playing. I'm sorry, I be up and out. Like, I also love their, I love going to the museums here. The first museum exhibit I went to here, I literally got into all of it free. When I was a foreigner, and then another exhibit was like, oh, if you're a student, like at a college or university, you can get in free. So I think I got into like five different museum exhibits that day free, and I spent my whole day there, and I had so much fun. Like, and I didn't have to pay anything, so of course. I also went to Disneyland here. I've never been to Disneyland anywhere until I came here. People say when you come to Japan, you have to go to Disney Sea because only Japan has Disney Sea, which I think is like a water park kind of thing. So I, I have yet to go there. They have really huge dollar stores here. Like, like I don't know. I thought Dollar Tree was amazing, N not compared to out here. Their dollar stores, they have large ones. They have dang near anything you can think of. Of course, if you're shopping for like real, real good quality stuff sometimes, don't go in the dollar store. But they probably got everything you need in a dollar store. I'm just saying. Things that I have not enjoyed since being in Japan. <sighs> the first thing, my skin. If I did learn that I'm gonna put a picture right here of how my skin used to look before I got to Japan. And my skin looked, it was all my life, my skin has been clear, amazing. And then I got to Japan and the first like four months I was here, my skin was fine. And boom, out of nowhere, it just changed. I, probably if I moved anywhere, you know, your skin getting used to being in a whole different area. Another thing is, I don't really like, when you go certain places, it's like only yen, which is their cash. Um, like you go to the dollar store, you pick it up all your stuff because there's no signs that say it. Then you go to the register and then they're like, no, like you can't use cars, only yen. Their taxis, only yen, they don't take car. And like the vending machines, which I also don't like, they only have drink vending machines. If you really want something to eat, you can just hop inside like a convenience store. But like they really only have drink machines. And then with the drink machines, you, you have to have yen or, um, you can also use the train cards. As a black woman here in Japan, um, the first thing is, you know, hair, the biggest thing. Obviously you're not going out really finding hair salons. They do have Japanese locals that do black hair, but me personally, I'm just not, they don't have beauty supplies over here, hair stores, nothing. So living on base is kind of cool because I'm with other Americans. So a lot of people, they sell braiding hair here or like wigs and stuff. But personally, I just order off Amazon. I'm gonna order my hair off Amazon. It's probably cheaper than what fellow Americans are charging on the base. Um, the thing about Amazon here, you gotta wait over a week or two weeks sometimes. Not like, oh, you can order it and then two days later, it's at your doorstep, no. So you gotta plan ahead a lot of times. And it's hairstylists on the base, which I'm glad for, but they be charging. They be taxing, okay? That's not really different than the hairstylists in America anyways, because I see how they've been doing y'all lately, and it's ridiculous. At this point, I just buy the hair, and I'm gonna just do it myself. Cultural appropriation, which here, it's not a cultural, it's not cultural appropriation. It's, it's kind of frustrating. 
you see a lot of them with and you know that you know they're not even mixed with black like they're just regular japanese locals they have like braids in they have locks locks they have like afros they do things to make their hair like black hair but to them it's like ah oh, we appreciate it we love your hair that doesn't make it okay but I, i'm just gonna mind my business okay you know it's like a fresh beginning it's nice learning about other cultures i'm definitely gonna make more videos about being in japan because like i said this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be 19 and living in japan so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned some things i will be making more videos about what it's like to live in japan so please subscribe drop a like drop a comment and i'll see you later Bye. I miss ya, I miss ya. I really wanna kiss you, but I can't. So I need you for now, I need you. Baby, you know that I miss you.